to solve a problem, a very big problem. So what is Elvis all about? Elvis is an intelligent ship. It sucks waves from the surface of the ocean and cleans it. My Elvis, my vision of changing the oceans. Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. At the age of 10, all we did was play, attend school, dream and learn something new. Well, in our midst today, we have along with us Hazik Kazi, a 12-year-old who has an ambition to change the world and make it a better place for all of humanity. He is the young designer of an intelligent ship, Airways, that sucks waves from the surface of the ocean. Hello Hazik, it's an honor to have you with us at Polymer Update. Well, my first question to you is, what inspired your thought process to come up with an absolutely brilliant project idea like Airways? Basically, uh, I watched a bunch of uh, documentaries and I pulled, uh, realized two things from it. One was the magnitude of the problem. There are 5 trillion pieces of plastic currently floating in the ocean. So that, uh, you can, as, you, uh, as you can see, that's a lot of plastic, right? So if you were to take, um, stack it up, or it will be enough to uh, go to the moon and back twice. Because of that, if there's a lot of plastic in the ocean, uh, uh, marine animals uh, can easily eat it, right? So uh, they can eat it and it will fill up their stomach and they can't eat anything else. So they'll die by starvation. Uh, so can you please elaborate on your vision of changing the ocean? Before the plastic uh, ended up in the ocean, it was a very peaceful place. Uh, where fa uh, marine animals and birds could live together in harmony but now uh, we've destroyed the natural habitat and I aim to make it a, a better place for, uh, for marine creatures to live in. What if we get a chance to collaborate with Boyan Slut? Since both of you have the same intent, what other environmental causes will you mm. take up and work on along with him? So like the plastic pollution is a vast problem, right? So, since it is a vast problem, there's, like, it will take up a lot of time and resources. Like there's plastic at the surface, then there's plastic at the bottom of the sea, and then there's also in the middle. And then you have other materials like um, metals and uh, other non-biodegradable things. So, uh, that will uh, uh, take up a lot of time. How confident are you regarding the success of Airways? Success of Eris, it's. Uh, uh, it, it, I know it's like creating a ship is not a child's play, right? So, but I hope my message will stay with people. Like Chris Anderson said, my idea exists and it will always remain a part of me. And nobody can take that away. So, when I present it to people, it should become a part of them. That is a success of Eris. Well, what drives your passion, Hazik? There's a lot of plastic in the ocean, right? And it fills a lot of marine life. So that re that was really like heartbreaking to see that. So I hope that I can uh, uh, make the oceans a cleaner place. I can do something for it. Right. What hurdles did you come across while creating Airways? Well, as I said, creating a ship's not like one can do. It's a lot of it's very expensive, right? Also. Uh, to, I didn't have much data back then when I started. Like I only found out last month that 80% of all uh, fishes in the Amazon have some sort of plastic in them. And only recently uh, people found out that uh, that uh, all 60% of edible fish in Hong Kong have plastic in them. So how's it, how do you gather and analyze your research materials? So, like the internet is also a very vast place, right? There's a lot of material you can gather. There's also a lot of websites like uh, Plastic Oceans, Ocean Heroes. They're all like great websites. I recommend that you check. There's BBC, like uh, mm. the, at National Geographic. And there's also documentaries on uh, websites like Netflix, YouTube. Uh, yeah. You watch so many channels. And series? Wow, that's nice. That's good, that's good. So, has your age ever been a hindrance and made you question about your capabilities? 
Well, if you pull, it, uh, pull your heart and soul into it, it's not a uh, big problem, I feel, right? Like if you give it uh, your uh, full attention and if you have passion, then you can do it. So, Harzik, any messages to our audience? So, I, I just want to say that they have to be aware, right? <laughs> so, uh, what people tend to do is they, uh, they follow a linear economy of plastic. Right. So, uh, they just uh, yeah, take the plastic, they buy it from a store or something like that, they use it and they just dispose of it, which is har har harming a lot of my life. Right? Okay. So, uh, I advise to use a horse, uh, like a circular economy, where it's like a, uh, like it uh, follow it is in a circle, where the usage of plastic is in a circle, uh, joined by either uh, repairing, recycling, reusing, uh, and more. Hasik, you have become an inspiration for all of us at Polymer Update and I'm sure to our viewers too. Hasik, thank you so much for joining us today at Polymer Update and continue to inspire the world with your outstanding innovations. And thank you too for joining me today on this interesting conversation with Hasik. Stay tuned to Polymer Update. This special feature is sponsored by Delhi-based Microntech, a leading manufacturer supplier and trader of fully automatic and semi-automatic PET stretch, blow molding machine plants, PET molds, PET bottle machines, PET jar machines, compressors, chillers and dryers.